2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Warriors coming into the arena earlier. They know a hostile crowd's waiting for them, and it looks like they'll be ready for it. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. Now Golden State's starting five. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Kevon Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for the Spurs, we've got Johnson. Collins is out there with Jones. And it's Sohan in at the power forward position. Veteran players are well we represented, Greg, in this one. And all that experience on the court only adds to the intrigue. Yeah, and it should make for a more polished game overall. More discipline, less mistakes, just high IQ basketball. Here's Sohan. And it's Looney with the rebound. Chalk up two there. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. It's Curry outside. Offensive rebound. Now the pass to Wiggins. From deep. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. Johnson against Wiggins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Play Johnson. You know, Steve, the persistent growth of Keldon Johnson is pretty impressive. It is, Kevin. He is obviously receptive to good coaching and is committed to finding success here in the league. Almost across the board, you see his stats creeping up season to season. And the first one drops. And Greg Keldon Johnson is listed at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that. He has the strength to fight for rebounds with anybody. Fearless on the court and plays with an endless motor. This strength and willingness to use it makes him valuable. We're talking about Stephen Curry range right now in that shot. Pass to Johnson. Charity strike shot. Second chance shot. And the layup good by Colin. I just love the determination on that backboard. Coming out of the gates really, really strong. He's playing with that one extra gear so far that none of the other guys have found yet. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And he gets the bucket. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Here's Curry with the three. Another three for Golden State. What a confident three-point shooter Steph Curry is. Never intimidated by the range. From 15 feet away, Warriors with the rebound. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Greg Popovich and I talked for a few minutes. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Now Curry. After Kelvin Johnson missed from long range, Stephen Curry's Curry. shot is good. That is a high percentage shot for Stephen Curry. Spurs working the ball around now. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. And that time, also a missed shot. Warriors leading by six. Outside, green. Fires from deep. Curry's shot is good. Curry's got 12. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the arc. They have to find a way to cool him down.
So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Different look here for the Warriors. Jermichael Green, he's checked in for Looney. Iguodala comes in for Tremont Green. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Clay Thompson. Now, here's Poole. Iguodala kicks to Kaminga. Back to Iguodala. Shot clock at six. And Poole gets it to go. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Here's Green. No good. Shot missing. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Knocks down the 10-footer. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's Vassell. San Antonio again missing. Here's Iguodala. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And just a tremendous display of strength by Iggy. Always a threat to convert, even with the contact. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. One shot. The free throw line is something that Iggy needs to work on. He's hit a miss from there. Now, Vassell still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And so it's the Golden State Warriors feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a very convincing performance here from the Warriors so far. Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Manu Ginobili, Hall of Fame class of 2022. He played his entire career in San Antonio. And in 2003, Manu's rookie season, we won a ring together. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spots. Curry is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Looney in at the five. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. It's never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And see, Manu is a rookie. Smitty, what were your early impressions? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, Kevin, he was unpredictable. He was definitely NBA ready. He had already been a pro for seven years before he came over, and he played an important role for us winning that title. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Oldham. Thanks very much. Now, for 22 straight years, San Antonio made the playoffs. They haven't made the last three postseasons, and former Spur Robert Ory worries if they'll ever be relevant again, saying, I hate to say that. San Antonio is a small market. Guys just aren't going to go there. And that's a dire prediction for such a storied and successful franchise, Kevin. Wow, no kidding, David. All right, thank you. Here's Green, banked in off the glass. And the Warriors lead by 21. Get the best shot you can get. Draymond active in the paint. Pass to Sohan. Green, green, green. 
Here's Johnson. Falls through. He's now made two of four. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. That was the 2K drive. Is that move deserved another look? It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or Looney. for yourself. Looney looking very assured, rising up for the jumper. Like seeing that from him. To the paint, here's Collins. It's rebounded by Curry. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. No good there. And the way they have controlled the glass this game, really impressive. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm -hmm. Greg, when the postseason rolls around, the officials tend to let more go, more content, more aggressive play. Is that the right approach? Kevin, I think it is the right approach. And, and I'm a fan of letting the players play and blow the whistle when there's clearly an advantage created by either the offense or defense. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. First half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Golden State. Yeah, the defender all over him. Gary Payton and the second. chance to catch up on some First numbers here. The foul. scoring breakdown First for the Warriors. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And one other thing they've done well today, guys, share the ball. I mean, set up teammates and just playing unselfishly. Both good from the line that time. Warriors leading by 22. And here's Poole for three. They get it again. Kaminga kicks to Poole. Trills the three-pointer. Poole's got six. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's McDermott. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he makes good on the layup. Let's not forget that 6'8", Doug McDermott has the ability to be a scoring threat inside the paint. Off target from three-point range. Spurs have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Pass to Bates Dion. From the arc. The Warriors pull it in. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. The shot by Thompson, no good. And uh, a San Antonio shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. McDermott, and no good that time. Great tee that time from Green. Nice shot by McDermott. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. And here's Poole for three. And he's good on the three ball. Three. Nine points in the game so far. It's been all about That's Stephen Curry the for the Golden State goal. Warriors. Another Spurs. excellent quarter for him, especially from long range. The He's Warriors. buried a total of seven three-pointers in the game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. 
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. His three-point stroke was a thing of beauty. He was very consistent, knocked down seven total, giving the defense nightmares out there. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They scored very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. This organization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half, about to get underway. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Really an incredible game from Stephen Kerr. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. They've got Collins. Jones is out there with Johnson. And it's Sohan in at the four spot. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. And here's Jones after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Back to Jones. Shoots over Curry. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. There's the three. Another three for Golden State. This is Clay Thompson's go-to shot. Such an effective shooter from outside the arc. Here's Jones, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his sixth rebound on the night, and Wiggins with the basket on the assist from Green. Wiggins has got six. Well, now that they've settled into this game, you can see the offense is firing on all cylinders. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments they needed to make. They are executing. On offense, here are the Warriors. They've got an 8-0 run, and Green gets it to go. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. And the Spurs with possession. Following the basket by Draymond Green. Jones, no one around him. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Wiggins finds Curry. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got 26. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Empowering at home. He ends a 12-0 run by the Warriors. Here's Green, and he finishes Green nicely Green. on the layup. Green's That's got it. four points this quarter. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. They grab their own miss. Jones from outside. No good that time. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how Play difficult this it. game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. And here's Collins. After the three-pointer from Clay Thompson, here's Johnson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson. That's his first foul. First the Spurs foul. making a switch here. Wesley's That's checked the in. The then for the Warriors, Iguodala comes in for Kavon Looney. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Thompson. And so it's Iguodala. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Warriors have gotten nearly everything to drop this quarter. They're 7 of 8 from the floor since halftime. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. 
This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Man, that one drops. 105 left to play here in the third. The pass to Iguodala. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Iguodala has got five now. That's what Andre gives you out of the backcourt. Versatility, size, and he competes. He's also a coach out there on the floor. Here's Sohan. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Wiggins over Johnson. And the Warriors and tack on two Wiggins. more. And watching that defensive effort right there, you wonder how much they want this game. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. This is it to West. Fires it up. Offline from the top of the key. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. And so it's the Golden State Warriors enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And we'll be right back after this. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And uh, San Antonio shooting a pretty sorry 29% from the floor here. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Iguodala out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Peyton. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Green in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Green. Takes a three, buries it from three-point range. And that's what every team three wants points. from their big man nowadays. Jermichael Green able to knock down the triple. Here's Graham. Bassey. It's good on the putback. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. The three from Poole. And another three Golden for Poole. Golden State. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. Now, here's Poole. Iguodala. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Gotta love the initiative by Iggy there. Very skilled at getting the team. Just to be a little too aggressive with him on his shot. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game generating a lot of points for them. And also, they, they continue to take advantage on the offensive glass. Those extra possessions paying off in second-chance points. Einberg's checked in for the Spurs. Golden State's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. And here's Poole for three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. And the Warriors making a change here. Lamb's checked in. That'll be a five-second call. Inbound violation. Spurs ball. That's to Langford. Here's the floater. He takes it up and lays it in. Langford's got his first bucket in this one. Not lacking any confidence down there. Just give Langford the ball and let him do his thing. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Jonathan Amazing control Kaminga. on display. Assist and they might be down big, Jordan but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. Here's Langford following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. And contact Golden on the second. shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Gary the second. And one thing second to like about Mates Diop is his ability to score from all three areas. 
Greg, what I like is he's comfortable facing up, and he can put the ball on the floor. He's a strong cutter, and that kind of versatility goes a long way in the NBA. And the Spurs making a change here. Shang's checked in, and that's good as he hits both of his shots. Golden State's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. The shot by Peyton, no good. Spurs have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Langford misses. The Warriors have gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And that one's good. Jermichael Green. Green. Michael Green with the height and the bounce to do some damage inside. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now, here's Langford. Covered by Peyton. The offensive rebound. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 15-6 run. Lamb, good. He is cold-blooded. Drops the dagger. Piles on to what was already a big lead. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Here's Paige Diop. McDermott, no one around him. Again, the miss by the Spurs. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Warriors. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept oh, after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Stephen Curry. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. One of Jermichael's strengths is his shot blocking. Whether he's down low or on the perimeter, he gets up quickly. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. First personal foul. Second team foul. That's good from Peyton. Shooting for Golden State. Gary Peyton the second. Two shots. And both free throws good for Peyton. There's 14 seconds left in the game. Will it go? The shot, no good. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. That's to come into an opponent's game. building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, <laughs> Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much, Steph. Congrats on the win. How does this team continue to be the most cohesive unit possible? To me, it's a commitment. We know that that's going to you know, put us in a good position to win every single night. Is if we bring the effort, um, multiple efforts at each possession, where you might get beat, but you got to get back in the play. God's going to help you. You help him. Uh, you know, we care about each other, so we want to make sure that nobody's left out to dry. And I think that's a big, big factor. And uh, you know, we're just, we're just relentless on defensive end. Yeah, you guys have been one of the best defensive teams in the league the last few years. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.